A quick disclaimer before I start the video. This video is aimed at mobile big paintball players. Some information may not sync with console and computer players. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We've discussed the most underrated gun in big paintball and the best gun under 1 million credits. Today I'm going to explain why the Tommy gun is the worst gun in big paintball. Enjoy. First we must understand what the Tommy gun does and how well it does it. The Tommy gun is a semi-auto, on mobile, $24,000 gun. It shoots in bursts of three each time you shoot it. It has normal damage to sentries, has a below average range, and of course, slow fire rate. Now I will explain why this gun does its job horribly. The Tommy gun seems good in theory, which is why many new players buy it. So let's review its stats so that we can confirm or deny this hypothesis. Tommy gun does normal damage to sentries. Normal. You know what that means, right? You need to tap the screen three separate times to destroy any one sentry, which is ridiculous. With any other gun, you could just hold down your finger on the screen and it would be destroyed quickly. Alright, sentry damage is one thing. It's low sentry damage alone can't make it a bad gun, right? Wrong. It's not only the sentry damage. The Tommy gun's range is also lacking. How much? Well, it's actually not horrible, but it's still bad for a gun with this slow fire rate. Like I said, the range is not horrible, but it's still worse than most other guns around its price. Next is an attribute that shouldn't be a problem for any gun in Big Paintball, but the Tommy gun is so bad that it needs this. This is why I haven't mentioned this attribute in my previous videos yet. This attribute is handling, or how well you can control the weapon's sensitivity and firing it at the same time. On computer, this is easy to dismiss because you can change your sensitivity and mouse settings, as well as move around without shooting. On the other hand, it's a monumental task to control weapons like snipers and the Tommy gun on mobile. The Tommy gun is a flipping nightmare to control on mobile, especially smaller devices. Moving around is not so bad, but when it comes to shoot, you might end up swiping the screen a little bit, which can change where you want to shoot. It's so annoying. Now we must discuss the largest problem that many overlook. This problem is the Tommy gun's role in the game. Think about it, almost every gun has a role. Snipers are there for sniping. Literally all quality type guns except for the SCAR based on special effects. The Dark Matter gun is there as a reward for everyday players or just there to be annoying if you know what I mean. The Starter SMG is there as a cheap, fast shooting SMG. The P90 is available for the same reason. The Tempered guns are in-game versions of popular guns. Nearly every gun in the game has a purpose, you get it. So Tommy gun should do well you might say because there is no other burst weapon in the game. Well, here's where it goes downhill. Step back and think about the Tommy Gun's role for a second. No, seriously, do it. A burst gun in a paintball game. Paintball. Oh yeah, paintball. The game where one shot gets you out, not three, one. There's no health system in Big Paintball. The Tommy Gun's role is completely useless in a paintball game. Even against sentries, the Tommy Gun falls short. It takes nearly three separate bursts to take out a sentry. In a game like Battlefield 5, where a health system exists, the Tommy Gun wouldn't be so bad. But in Big Paintball, the Tommy Gun doesn't fit at all. all right. You can now see why the Tommy Gun is the worst gun in Big Paintball. Its role is unnecessary and doesn't even work against sentries or even crowd control. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.